in the sea, the ophthalmosaurus are out for a swim and looking for a place to give birth. So why aren't they hitting the beach to lay their eggs? That's what most sea reptiles we know do. Well, ophthalmosaurus are a little different. They don't do eggs. Instead, their babies are born live. Giving birth this way keeps them safe from predators on the beach. But there are predators down here too. Remember Liopleurodon? As if giving birth isn't hard enough, she's got to stand guard at the same time. No sign of the big killer so far, but she keeps those big eyes peeled just in case. The newborn pup only has a few seconds to race to the surface. Ophthalmosaurus have lungs, and lungs need air, fast. After the pup's first breath, it's right back down. Poor little pup, not alive 10 seconds, and he's already easy prey for a Jurassic sea full of predators, including other Ophthalmosaurus. Welcome to the reptile family, where hungry adults might just eat you alive. Back up at the surface, the female Ophthalmosaurus is taking a breather and struggling to push out one more pup. But another predator has picked up the scent of her blood. A killer you could still run into today. But I sincerely hope you don't. Prehistoric sharks, survivors extraordinaire. Flashing their killer jaws over 200 million years before the dinosaurs. Some grow as big as 40 feet. And of course, they've always had a taste for blood. For sharks, blood in the water is like a flashing neon sign, impossible to ignore. So this shark moves in for a closer look. The Ophthalmosaurus is still trying to push out her last pup. But things are getting desperate. And all that splashing doesn't help. Now the sharks know that she's struggling and vulnerable. One of them moves in for the kill. Suddenly, the shark gets spooked. There's something else down here. Something huge. And the Ophthalmosaurus has no idea just how hungry it is. Out of the darkness comes Liopleurodon. has struck again, and he's just getting warmed up.